SVI. In this video, we will understand what is the concept of VLAN, how is it different from SVI, where is it that we are using VLAN, and what is the benefit of using SVI, especially on layer 3 device. So, here we start. VLAN, which is an abbreviation for Virtual Local Area Network. So, VLAN in a switch allows to connect all the devices which are part of the same VLAN. This VLAN will not talk to other VLANs which are part of the same switch. I will explain it through one scenario which will help us understand how VLAN to VLAN communication is not possible on a layer 2 switch while within the VLAN it is possible. Here we can see we have a layer 2 switch in front of us and to which on port 1 we have connected one host and other is connected on port number 2. Port 1 connected device is on VLAN 10 while port 2 connected device is on VLAN 20. So, since they are on a layer 2 switch and part of different VLAN, the communication between this device and this device will not be possible. On the other hand, if we connect another device, which is let us say on port number 3, that host will be able to communicate to the device which is part of the same VLAN. So, this port number 3 is part of VLAN number 10 in that case and hence both these will be able to communicate to each other since they are part of the same VLAN. Further, if we want both these devices with different IPs, rather IP subnet, they want to communicate to each other. In that case, this layer 2 switch will have to extend its connectivity physically to either a layer 3 switch or a layer 3 router or maybe a firewall. Through that connectivity, inter VLAN communication will be possible. So that means the different subnet devices or different VLAN devices will be able to communicate to each other via the help of any layer 3 capable device. SVI. This is an abbreviation for switch virtual interface and it can be configured on a layer 3 switch. The feature set of SVI is that it routes the packets which are destined for different VLANs. So earlier we saw that on a layer 2 switch one VLAN cannot communicate to other VLAN directly and it requires help of any layer 3 device or a firewall which is an external entity. So, in next slide, we will configure SVI on the same device, rather it will be a layer 3 device instead of layer 2 device and see if the inter VLAN routing can be performed within that domain or within that switch itself. Now here what we can see is the same scenario, but this time we have a layer 3 switch configured, right? And for this end host which is in a different subnet different vlan rather vlan 10 and vlan 20 for that communication we create one svi for vlan 20 and another svi for vlan number 20. with that what will happen now when this end host wants to communicate with the other one which is in different VLAN, this traffic would be sent towards the SVI 10 which is interface VLAN 10 of the same switch. It does not require an, any end, external entity in order to perform that routing and from here logically it will be routed towards the SVI 20 which is interface VLAN 20 on the same switch and sent towards the destination which is part of a different VLAN and that is why this communication bidirectional communication can take place and that is the magic of SVI on a layer 3 device which only the VLAN could not perform. VLAN versus SVI. This table showcases the difference between VLAN and SVI. 
So first parameter is abbreviation. VLAN is abbreviation for virtual local area network and SVI is for switch virtual interface. Second is the platform support. While VLAN can be configured on any layer 3 switch or a layer 2 switch, whereas SVI only on layer 3 devices, rather layer 3 switches only. Routing across IP subnets or across VLAN. So earlier we understood that VLANs cannot perform routing between different VLANs. However, SVI has the capability that it can perform routing across various IP subnets across various VLANs via the same layer 3 switch. Configuration. So for configuring a VLAN, we first go into the configuration mode and then type VLAN, then the VLAN ID. It can be, let us say, VLAN ID 1, 2, 3, 10, 20, whatever we want to provide here. While in case of the SVI, we first go into the configuration mode, then put in interface VLAN ID. VLAN ID can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 10 and give it an IP address. That's how SVI is configured. And lastly, in terms of the OSI layer, the VLAN works on layer 2 of the OSI model. That is the data link layer. While SVI works at the network layer because it communicates via the IP addresses in the OSI model. Hope this information helps our viewers, listeners to get more detail about what is SVI, what is VLAN and how are they related and contrasting to each other. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much.